Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to do number one problems homework tonight. So we are starting at the number 112. Now from the homework helper and on this picture, we see this bundle right here. This is 100, this is a 10, and these are the two ones. So that is representing 112. Now in class, I taught them to draw 100 as a square, a stick as a 10, and a circle as a 1, and that is simply because it is easier to draw this for them than this. So, and it is definitely more organized than them trying to draw this. Um, so, when they are doing this, I ask them to cover up the 100, and I say, what number do you see? They say 12. So, okay, what 10's number is close to 12? Okay, and they should be telling you 20. Okay, and if they don't know, remind them their 10's number is 10, 20, 30, 40. What number is close to 12? And they should say 20. If, you, if they don't say that, please lead them to that answer by starting at 12 and counting up until they get to a 10's number. So, we want to get to 120. So, we are going to count by ones to get to 120 from 112. So, we say 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120. And then I get them to label 120 when they get to 120. That is because this is a tens number now. So, because we're at our tens number, now they're going to start counting by tens. So we're going to go back up here and say, okay, now we're going to count by tens. So we're going to draw what? We're going to draw sticks. So 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, and then what comes after 90? And we say 200. Okay, once they get to 200, say, okay, we met it, we're there, we're at 200, so we stop. We do not keep counting. So now, what is this part that we just drew? Okay, so we just drew this part. Now, what is it? Well, we counted at 112. That's one part, P for part. And we're adding, what is this part that we just drew? And it equals the number that we stopped at, 200. So we are trying to figure out what is this part. Now I always tell them, do not look at this bottom number. That's what we counted by. We are going to count what we drew pictures of. So we drew pictures of tens and we drew pictures of ones. So how many tens do we see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tens. Again, get them to check their work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tens. And how many ones? Well, our ones are our circles, so we're going to count our circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I always get them to recount it a few times just to make sure that they counted correctly. So, this would be that missing part there. Now, right now, the goal is for them to just be able to draw and count up. It does lead into this, which is why I set them up for this. So, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to send another video for number two right here.